Hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel. Yes, that channel is Del Chanel's for this world. And we gotta have a conversation. Yes, we gotta have a conversation about Candy Girl. Speak on it. Yes, that woman. Cause honey, baby, all these women need Jesus. I don't understand. I definitely don't understand about Phaedra. Now, we know Candy and Phaedra were bosom buddies. They were essential freaking frat. They were good to one another until that alleged rumor got out that Phaedra had put out on Portia. Well, something she told Porsche, which was a very, 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 very uh, large rumor. And I guess that kind of messed up her entertainment career in a sense, as far as being a part of a show and not being a lawyer trying to get their client off or on or get money for their client from the show. But, honey, there's a rumor out there that NeNe leaks. Yes. Pedro Parks. Mm hmm. And Portia Williams. Here comes the shade. That they wanted to boycott behind the scenes. Uh, the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 14. They wanted to boycott the show. Talk bad about the show. Whatever so they can get back on the show. Meaning kind of like tank the ratings. Now I don't know if that's true or not. I really don't care too much to know if it's true or not. But just for argument's sake, say it was true. My thing is, what in the world is Phaedra doing with her money and or her career? And the only reason I say that, because you know I'm going to be messing. The only reason I'm saying this is because Phaedra's resume is so impeccable. Meaning, so good, she could work. And the profession that she's in, she could definitely do well. And would need entertainment life. But I guess the entertainment field pays ridiculous type of money. Where it just draws you in. It just draws you in. And you need more and more and more of it. You know, kind of like a wicked system, I guess you would call it. But honey, baby, that's the rumor, girls. That is the rumor, guys, that she, meaning Portia, Nene Leakes, and Phaedra Parks boycotted season 14. They're using their powers to be whatever powers that may be. I'm just saying this is just a rumor. So we just sitting down talking about this alleged rumor. Okay. That's what we do over here. We found a story we want to talk about because the family been wanting to talk about it. And then I bring it into fruition and we have a discussion. We, that's all we do. Have a discussion. Make our opinions. All right. And then we go sit the fuck down somewhere. Okay. And sometimes we may have family members want to argue and just take it a little, you know, drag it out a little longer. And then we have to come back and say, mm, okay, I see your point. Or no, I don't see your point. We're going to have to disagree. Agree to disagree, okay? But I want to know where in the hell Nene going with them holy ass jeans, okay? And I ain't talking about holy like praising the Lord. I'm talking about holy as in poor. What is she doing? This, uh, she get worse. Every every damn day I see Nene, it's like she just get worse and worse. I'm like, we told you about that white t-shirt that you always was trying to be like Kanye West. I guess I don't know, sell them for $100, $200. But Nene... Take them holy jeans off, okay? You look destitute, baby. You don't look like you're a fashion police or you're a fashionista. You look poor, okay? And you need to just stop it. That's something for your children's generation to get into, okay? Not you, not you, not you, okay? I don't know if being out of reality TV is making you go bonkers or go straight up hood crazy where you need to be connected to a behavior unit somewhere. But you're just doing too much. But yeah, that's on the street, y'all. That's word on the street. Uh-huh. Nene, Portia, and Sage are trying to boycott season 14. And uh, you know, the, the obvious reason we're going to say is because they need money. And I, I, I don't know, honey. Because it looks like Simon just want to have Miss Diane for a snack. 
and might, <laughs> might want to have uh, the grandma for a, I don't know. That that's the, for me to even say it. It just sounds ill. Okay, ill. Maybe have a fetish for help grandma. You know, ah. But the lube, the lubrication you would need to get that one oiled up. But anyway, that, that's, that, that's crazy. It's crazy. But anyway, Marla would say that's crazy too, cause she ain't giving up her peach for nothing. She don't work too hard, too long to get Nene off the show, where she could try to replace her. Okay, cause that's when I look at uh. Uh, what's her name? Marlo. She gives me Nene teas. All right. And we're going to have to talk about Candy Birds, Portia Williams, and Shamia. And how they, the two women, came together to celebrate uh, Shamia's birthday. And Shamia bought a house, y'all. The house she was living in wasn't in her name. It was just in her husband's name. But the house they got together, damn, they both got their names on it. Isn't that sweet? Okay. Okay. So we ain't got to have nobody. Uh, power struggling over there and i guess it would have to be the same thing with portia because candy sits real nice about <laughs> not having todd's name on her uh deed she looks she sits real nice about that and i'm like go ahead candy it was yours to begin with and i can see you probably getting another house uh that's probably in you and todd's name you know what i'm saying just to keep his ass from just acting all foolish because i saw that uh housewives me and housewives i saw it and i plan on doing a <sighs> uh, a video on it but it can wait it really can't wait because i mean shamia now i can't say that girl she has some skills when it comes to interviewing and she don't cut no corners either she go in for whatever the, the people are talking about she go in and try to get it straight and to me technically she kind of made talk look like a fool because first he was like i don't care about the house i can i can i can get another one or this that and the third I, that, but do y'all think that's right i'm like Oh, pay the boots, sit your butt down. Tiny Todd, sit your butt down. But Aaron, I think his name Aaron Hall, he gave me pure man. Man all day, every day. All, you know what I'm saying? So, Sonya, Sonya, you got you a, a real good G in that man. And I wish you would have came along when we had Apollo, Greg, Peter, and, and, and um, Todd. Because Todd was just an extra third wheel anyway. He wasn't giving too much. But it's just the, the old G's was trying to teach the new G's something. And, and Todd still need to be in school. He's in remedial classes right now. But right now, he needs to be back in school. Because with him being the oldest between Aaron and Ralph, Aaron makes more sense. And he's, you know, he's in a younger stage. He's still in his late 30s. And Todd, you know, he's, in, in, he what, 50? Or knocking on the door of 50? And it don't seem like he learned nothing. Nothing. Okay, because he's still mad when, when, um... Candy got business deals and she's being a part of something that he's not a part of. He admitted, and I tell you, it, it, you know, it takes a big person to admit that you're feeling some kind of salty. But I'm like, man, just get daily daycare up and running, okay? Get daddy daycare up and running and get men such as yourself. They ain't doing them, but living off their wives and things of that nature. And go in and let half, okay? And then you doing your thing. Which is producing kids. I don't know. Maybe you could do something where you be a talent scout for them. Talk, hey, that's a bright bright idea. Why don't you do that? Okay? Because Ace love when you hang out with him. I don't know about the baby girl. Because she's saying like she don't care. She can hang with Mama Joyce or Aunt Bertha or Aunt Nora. She don't give a shit about whether she want to hang with Mama or Daddy. She just seems like a G like me. Kind of like Riley. You know what I'm saying? Like go and do what you got to do. Because I know I'm going to do what I got to do. And you're going to furnish my endeavors. Okay? You're going to furnish my endeavors and take care of the bills that I make here and there because you ain't never here okay but I'm gonna be the good student I'm gonna be the pillar of society but go on and make your money but I wish baby to take off that Halloween wig I am tired of seeing that damn Halloween wig what is she doing lord what is she doing okay I don't know if she's trying to be a part of the illuminated ones or not and they just have to wear this gold or uh blonde type hair to solidify that they want to be a part of the club I don't know Mickey Mouse Club to me but it, hey illuminated club for y'all Oh, all the shits that go on. I don't understand why people even want to do it. But then when you got power greed and being among the famous people and you may become famous one day, I guess it's all uh, too much for you and you just got to fall short and sell your soul. I, I don't know. Okay. But anyway, a lot of people do it. A lot of people do it. But like I say, Thaja, she's an author. She's a graduate of the University of Georgia and at this UGA go dogs. You know what I'm saying? Oh, pillar school. 
killer school and it looks great on a resume okay then she's a turner she's a magicianist and a businesswoman what and then she start on this um covenant what happened to that it was a four-part series. It must didn't get the uh, outstanding ratings or something. And it got pulled. I don't know. But I'm like, I don't understand for her to have so much educational things going on and so much professionalism uh, within the realms that she uh, have the, you know, evolved herself in for her education. Why or oh, why would she want to come and be on a ratchet TV show? I have no idea. That's what I'm saying. It must be very lucrative. Very, very lucrative. With the amount of money that they are paying you to be on this ratchet ass shit. But that's the way of the world. It's Bible foretold and it just is what it is. Some people will fall to the left. Some people fall to the right. And some people will land straight in the middle. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, guys. Okay? But yeah, that's what they're saying. I can't believe it myself. I really can't. Because Kenya Moore is still sitting at the ham. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Kenya Moore is still sitting at the ham. All the thing she got to talk about is her failed marriage with Apollo. Her failed marriage with boyfriend friends her failed attempt to get back onto the real housewives of atlanta y'all yeah, remember when kenya and um uh phaedra was at odds with one another trying to go against one another one another with that exercise t videotape and stuff you know of course phaedra said she was out there doing it. i think she was doing it before kenya came along and started wanted to promote it and stuff but you know they were doing that against each other and you know kenya loves a challenge oh she loves a challenge that just you know, stirs her up inside and gets her juices flowing. And, you know, she going to come with the fire. And she don't say it. She's trying to sit back. She's trying to sit back and relax. But, honey, I don't know, Ken. You might have to act a fool to save the show. <laughs> you might have to go cut throat people. You know what I'm saying? You might have to get it out. Get the blade out with that tongue and get it going. You know what I'm saying? Because, whoo, that's it, the two. And maybe just because it's just coming back on and they're trying to get a lot of, a uh, little of sisterhood in there, but you can't be on you can't have no sisterhood on a reality show. People go gear in for drama, and you know they would tear Simon up, business man with a golf suit. I mean, a golf club in his hand. What the hell? I can see if he was a former golfer, pro golfer at that, but he was getting sponsors to go out there and play. But he just an old timer. All the time, just try to. I don't know. I guess he go out there and play golf, and Portia gets make him mad about something. Hell, I don't know. Okay, he has to go. What do you call it? Um, rack up some points, or I don't know what they call it in golf, but you know he has to hit the ball so hard, and it, he releases anger. Anger, I guess. It's a good therapeutic sport to play when you stressed out. I guess I don't know, cause it's a man thing, okay? And I'm not a man. I'm thinking like a man. It just is what it is. Day, I guess you know it looks pretty. It looks sporty to them. You know, but I'm like, just go and get in a race car and go around the track, Simon. Just do that. Because that, that's more manly than that glove thing you got going on. And you know your body is not good. You know, you, you be trying to. Uh, would have been gay. That's what I said. Portia would have been gay. But, you know, um, they would tell Portia up. Especially Kenya Moore. I know she would. She would tell uh, Portia up from the top of her head to the sole of her feet. And she would definitely get on that crazy idea of giving her a spinoff called Portia's Family Matters. Ooh, she would have her for lunch, dinner, and breakfast. Okay, and not in that order. All right. She would tear Portia to smell the rings. Then Portia would get all hot, tail and mad. And she would go off the deep end and start wanting to put her hands on folks. Can you see the liability? Can you see the liability? And then with, uh, what's the name? Candy talking about, you know, you remember that lie she told on me about that date ape? You know what I'm saying? And trying to destroy me, my business, my family. I'd be in jail. So I would have been in jail. Who would have been raising our kids? My old ass family. No, man. So, you know, that would be very destructive. So, I, I just don't see the liability in this rumor of them doing such a thing. Because if they were doing it and it was found out that they did it. Meaning, you know, trying to make the ratings be bad. Because of the pool of the people that really liked them. The fans and fanatics that supported them. And they pulled out of watching the show. Just because their faves were not on the show. Very far-fetched. But not necessarily untrue. What, and if Bravo found out about that true original. Uh, you know. Would they want to bring them back? Uh, no, I wouldn't. If you, if I found out through the grapevine you was sabotaging my show, 
and that I put hard work in trying to develop it from another standpoint so people could get back on the bandwagon and watch. Girl, boy, I would not hire y'all behind back if it depended on my life. I would not do it. Okay, I'm lying. I would now I ain't, ain't going to die for nobody, you know what I'm saying, but my, my family or, you know, somebody like in that aspect, because, uh, no, <sighs> only Jesus died, I think he's the only one that was sitting and die, now, would I die for Jesus, yes, I would, I would definitely do it, some family members suspect, we have to have a drink or sleep, a nap on, and I have to really contemplate, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> but, whew, I'm telling y'all, I don't believe the rumor, I, I just really don't believe that, you know, it, it's, it's the rumor is somewhat upheld to a certain degree. But like I said, if the network found out that they were getting people behind the scenes, that they had that much clout and plausibly made the ratings go down, I wouldn't hire them. I would not hire neither one of them to come back. Even though the sensational drama that they would get with Kenya Moore going in on Phaedra and Portia and they need simultaneously. That would give me all. It would make me have to keep watching it over and over and over again. Because the commentary, the position Kenya could take to just be slinging mud here and there. And it'd be warranted. You see what I'm saying? It would be warranted. Child, the shade Kenya would be throwing. And I know Money Bass Candy would be over there helping her set it up. Because it wouldn't be anything evil that they would be doing. It wouldn't be anything illegal that they would be doing. It would just be how y'all call it shade. How I call it getting somebody together. You know what I'm saying? Especially when Phaedra had said she had to go to a, meaning King had to go to a sperm bank and get a donut. You know what I'm saying? And then Phaedra has yet to have a successful uh, boyfriend or male companion nor husband since her ousted. Her getting ousted from the show. And see, that's a nice kind of color for her. Okay. The uh, brunette scene is real good, too. I even kind of like the uh, fuchsia color she was wearing. Like a golden tone like that. Now, that's pretty on her. And that's what she needs to be dressing. But Faith has been acting a damn fool out in these streets. I'm like, you wouldn't even think that she was a lawyer or a professional person. From what I've been seeing out here. And I'm like, girl, the thirst is real. The thirst is very real. But you got to remember what you put in Portia's head. Whether it was true or not, doesn't really matter. Because you're not on the main stage of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And far as it was told, Bobby Brown said you never won a case for him. And you know Whitney was footing that bill. Okay? And then, you know, the thing with Apollo, you know, you, you married a, a person that came from jail. All right? And to me, it's like you should have just took him back, girl. Took him back for a fest because he's being shown on the platform that you can't even get back on at this time. He's going to be charades itch at the time, okay? Because he just wants to be seen. And Peter trying to make his way back, too. All right? But, honey, to me, Faye, you need to go on and raise your kids. Keep that hair color or the other one that was really golden, that's very pretty. Or you uh, Go back to your black roots, such as that. Okay, you're a very beautiful woman. Stop acting like you're uh, 18, 19, 20, and you're new to the game. And you're trying to make it move. Because she's going to make it rain over there. She's going to be uh, several more revenue streams off this platform that she has. And, honey, she, honey you just need Jesus at this point, Phaedra. Because, you know, people saying, well, can it have this? Can it have that? Can it don't have no pool with damn show? How long has been gone from this show? How long? And the public still remains the same on why they don't like her no more. And then they have where her friends do like her and want her to come back. But when you sit down and you get in uh, Candace's frame of mind and you sit in her shoes and you wear her clothes and her shoes and her mentality and how that affected her you would see it a little different because I, I was kind of on the fence too like why you don't let Phaedra come back that would be a good thing y'all be throwing blows verbally not physically and it would just be whoo -hoo 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 -hoo. you know what I'm saying the ratings would go up because people like drama now Nene I don't know what you think you would bring back to the show because you don't did so much whether it is Oh, it was a racist, a horrible environment.
that you were in. You still shady because you're supposed to be phaser friend. Look what you're doing. And did Apollo ever get married to this lady? Or that's just something they just put together. So I'm like, bam, ma'am. I forgot her name. Cherie, Shereen, or whatever it was. If Apollo ain't married you now, he ain't going to marry you, baby. He ain't going to marry you. He's just a little playboy running around now trying to make it do what he do. And you don't really make any money. I don't know what you do. I don't know if you're a homemaker or you're a professional in some way. But it, you probably ain't making seven figures. And you can't take care of him because he likes that lavish lifestyle. Okay? So I'm like, uh, 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 But that's all I got in this video, guys. It's time for y'all to get down in those, co those comments and let me know what y'all thought about subject matter. We were thinking, talking about the rumor that's going around that uh, these three women, uh, Portia, Phaedra, and uh, Nene, tried to bring down the season 14. Uh, and I think the reason why it's not, and this is my personal reason, the reason why it's not doing so well is because they're trying to do that sisterhood. They're trying to make everybody be cordial with one another, even best buds. And then they're trying to get on the storylines that they're bringing to the table to have chaotic or crazy scenes between the family members. You know what I'm saying? Like each uh, person in the show is having problems. You know, because I'm like, what will Portia bring back? But violence, okay? Well, she want to put her hands on somebody. Especially if they start talking about her relationship between Father Time, okay? Father Time, Papa Smurf, however you want to see him, okay? They'll be trying to research. Uh, they'll be trying to really, really find out what he does. And then when his heat gets on him, he's going to be acting like Mark, okay? His ways are going to come out like Mark. And it's going to be devastating. Because the only thing I can see is Portia just having those crocodile tears and feeling so isolated because she thinks she done lost her somewhat rich uh glorified boyfriend okay so yeah I, I can't see that playing out because he don't never want to tell us now what he do and you know kenya moore would be like what does he do girl what does he do because all the social media want to know and i'm just asking for them and i'm like go on and get her can you go on and get them because i've been trying to and my patients have been wearing thin as well i'm tired of seeing him over there playing golf and i think the reason why he playing golf is so he can get rid of portia because portia always on his heels like a, you know i don't know like a tick like a bad sore throat you know just always there then you got nene over there and you know like i said phaedra was just trying to get with in and everybody now why would she be with flavor 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 ain't having no uh money issues or he's not trying to sue nobody so why are they hanging together and you know that was uh trace is no longer with us but yeah she was hanging around trace at the time like what could trace possibly do for you she would have a hard time on her own show the braxton family values girl so it was a hot mess so what do y'all think Bam, what do y'all think? I'll be looking and I'll be listening and I'll be in the conversations down in the chat section with you all. But that's all I have for this video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.